It's a chilly Wisconsin night outside, but we've got perfect conditions for baseball under the roof here at American Family Field. It's game four of the World Series between the Boston Red Sox and the Milwaukee Brewers. Alongside Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa and Danny, as pitching matchups go, it doesn't get much better than what we've got here for this one. Well, Matt, these are two of the best in the business, two guys that throw a lot of strikes, and if their game is on, we should have a very low-scoring ball game with these two elite starting pitchers. Game four of the World Series comes up next. into the box Cedric Mullins he'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first for the, Brewers, the center fielder number 31 here it comes there's a fastball right down Broadway taken for a strike let's go now let's go let's go Just got the corner that time with a fastball strike two. You know from an offensive standpoint they already knew they had their work cut out for him against a great pitcher but if he's going to locate like that this is going to be a tough day. Looking for the strikeout here's the 0 2 pitch. Takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. So one down, no one aboard. And that'll bring up Colton Wong. First offering on its way. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Right side, but it's well fouled. Now the pitch. Fouled off. One out, nobody on. Hey, we got one out here. Another one sent foul. The next 0 2. Fouled away. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. And with two away now, let's take another look at our playoff brackets. And of course, the question on everybody's mind, will we crown a champion here tonight? Juan Soto to the plate now. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. First pitch on its way. Ball one. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. This is what fires me up right here. You don't get a chance to see this every day of the week. You got the reigning Cy Young Award winner squaring off against the reigning MVP. That's why you pay the price of admission. Up, up, Popped up. up. Vasquez has a play, and the inning is over. Second inning straight ahead here at American Family Field with no score. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Jane Mack. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Pitch is popped up. Go hard, just going, go Adamus hard, go hard. Is there. And he'll avoid the big inning as he makes the catch, so just the one run scores here in the frame. 
Now to the plate, Avisail Garcia. Set to lead off the home half of the second. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Fastball was too much for him there. Swung right through it. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their no toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. And set up behind the dish is Eric Summersgill, as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. You know what, Dan? I'm always baffled when Eric Summersgill's behind the dish because he has a tendency to favor one side of the plate. You know, that's one of the things I think pitchers get a little bit frustrated with the E-train at time. It's like, hey, if you're going to give me that inside quarter, give it to me, but don't keep moving the dish around on me all game. And that'll bring right. forth Luis Urias. Third baseman. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls in a strike. Here's the 0 1 pitch. And it's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove. And he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Well, his stuff looks electric coming out of the gates in this one, guys. That's five batters faced, four strikeouts. That's going to be a tough pace to keep up, but it looks like he has what it takes to work deep into this game. That is good. Stepping in now, Willie really Adamas. Really As he I looks at a fastball that. that's in there for strike one. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Red Sox on top in the early going. one nothing as we play the second. And he falls behind 0-2. And nothing in two count and the pitch. I got the count one and two. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. They still trail one nothing. Bottom of the inning now, and set to go is the veteran first baseman, Luke Boyd, the first baseman. Field in the overshift here now the pitch. Yeah. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Looks like he swung it oh, under water down. that time for strike two. Hey, come on, guys. Stays alive, still 0-2. Into the windup and the pitch. And a swing and a miss as he picks up yet another strikeout. Six of them already, and there's one gone in the inning. He's racking up a fair amount of strikeouts now out there. That's six to this point. So he's got good stuff, and he's fooling a lot of these hitters. Batting in, the catcher, number 20. So now to the plate, number 20. As he'll take a look at a strike on the outside corner, it's 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. 
his heaters got some late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here, and there are two away. Boy, he's got great stuff today, doesn't he? That's seven punch outs now here in the middle innings. He's up over one in inning up to this point. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can change their plan of attack and start to put the ball in play. But right now, that's just not happening. The pitcher, Tyler. Standing in now, Tyler Molly. As one, it's one, one. shortly to first. He's got it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Gone in order of the Brewers. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. So the lineup flips over and digging in Cedric Mullins who comes into this at bat over one in the ball game. Still a big bagel in that hit column and this is where the frustration can start setting in on a team if they're not careful. It's never a good feeling when you know the guy out there on the mound is completely shutting you down. There's another pitch for a strike and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight being aggressive early on and if he continues to throw strikes like he is he's going to have a pretty good night. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Here's Colton Wong now. The second baseman. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. Calhoun waits on it. Makes the play. And there are two gone now. Here now is Juan Soto. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The right field. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. As he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding his own. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Play the first now. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Judge will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. They're down 1 0. Pitch on the way. A swing and it drive to center field. That one's got a chance. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. Adesayu Garcia is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. And it's 0-2 to Avisail Garcia. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Oh, he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take, and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot arms, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Luis Rodia stands in as he looks at ball one here. He's 0 for 1 thus far. There's a good breaking ball as he gets the bottom of the zone. Swung on and missed. One ball, two strikes. 
to one now. Easy out. And he fouls this one off. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. One and two, here it comes. Shot weakly to the left. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. I can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. That's 10 strikeouts for him now, and I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. At the plate now, Willie Adamas. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. Trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the hey, inning here. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called a strike anyway. Nothing in two now. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. Once thought we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Gone in order of the Brewers. They trail things here two to nothing. Played is Luke Boyd looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. And a good throw gets him one gun. So the next to bat will be number 20. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. The wind up and the 0-1. And it's fouled away. No runs, no hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. Oh. Splitter misses, and it's one and two now. One, one, one. And here's Bogarts, the young shortstop. Throw gets him. Two down. When the guy in the mound is working on a no-no this late, every play is exciting and stressful for the fielders. We'll see if they can continue making the plays behind him. Ahmed Rosario will pinch hit here with two outs and the base is empty. Number three. Ahmed. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Ball one. Come on, guys. The Come one on. oh. One and two now. Mountcastle might try to make a play on it. Hit down the third base. And this will kick off the third base back. And they're going to get it out on the play. And that'll be a bizarre ending to the inning to say the least. Three up, three down for the sixth consecutive inning here. Game four heads to the seventh inning now. Boston's out in front, two to nothing. Daniel Norris please. is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 32, Daniel Norris. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Jay Mack. First pitch on its way. Chance here for the second baseman, Wall. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. 
ready to go for the last half of the inning. And standing in the outfielder, Cedric Mullins. Now the pitch. Knuckle curve down below the knees, 1 and 0. Hey, nobody away. A 1 and 1 count to the Brewers' leadoff man. Hey guys, that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour on a night like tonight where it's super cold out. Nope. If you don't get to head to that baseball right there and you get jammed, it's almost like getting stung by a pack of wasps. The 2 1. He is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. And he strikes him out here. So that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the hit column. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out, a strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Colton Wong is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. No hits to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Bogarts onto the grass. He makes the running play. Two down. Boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. The right fielder. Into the box, Juan oh. Soto. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Here we go, fellas. Let's go. Hey, two away, two away. And one delivery. Oh, and that's one and two. Two out, nobody on. off another one two delivery fouled away Another one two and he fouls this one off nope. A knuckle curve there and he thought he had him but it's two and two these are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here he's a great hitter at the plate he knows it you know it keep executing maybe get him to roll something over he struck him out to retire the side, so he's through seven complete, still working on a masterpiece. The perfection continues. 21 straight retired. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Red Sox four and the Brewers nothing. Striding in for Boston, Jay Mack grounded out in his last at bat.
from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Line to the right side. That gets down, and the Find inning it. will continue. Let's go, let's go, let's go. No, he's going, he's going, he's going. Malika rounds third and is digging for the plate. Safe at the plate as they push the lead to five now. Wow, they're hitting on all cylinders as the lead increases to five now. Nice job there to drive the ball into the gap and turn on the Jets for a triple. Turns over now and set to go. Adalberto Mondesi. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. The one two. This one's blooped out toward right center field. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. It's a 6 nothing ball game. Hey, this guy's having a big series in the postseason. It looks like to me that. The moment isn't too big for him. He's slowing the game down. He looks terrific. Yeah, absolutely. Postseason loss. So here's Abisayu Garcia. And he'll start out the bottom of the eighth inning. The left fielder. Abisayu. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. You got to love guys auto taking you oh oh if you're on the mound. You could steal that first strike and now you go to work just picking apart the corners. Out, easy out, out, plays it first. The wind up and the 0-1. Right by him here. He's set up for another strike out here. The count to 0-2. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's deal is still top notch. This guy's a horse. Oh out. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Dribbled to the right side. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. him out for the first out of the inning but perhaps more importantly he's five outs away now Matt just about everything he's doing is working all of his pitches great command great location in the big key with two strikes he's attacking the zone now batting into the box Good now baseball. Luis Urias Luis. as he'll look at a fastball yeah. in there on the outer half it's 0-1 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Come on, guys. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. And he's way off balance with the swing okay. there. Sometimes you just can't overthink it. If a guy can't hit a certain pitch in a certain quadrant, why would you throw him anything else? Case in point, this guy's cold zone is away, and this pitcher keeps attacking that exact spot. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Luis Urias goes down for out number two in the bottom half. Digging in next, Willie Adamas. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. First offering. As he comes up empty on a pitch oh, right down the middle for strike one. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounding the zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. Swing and a miss, no and he's ball, in the hole 0 2 now. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be one, looking one, one. Oh, right back to him on the mound. Toss this one on to first as they're kept off the scoreboard again, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. They still find themselves down six zip.
striding in is Luke Voigt. He'll be the first to bat here in the inning with his guys in need of some ninth inning magic if they're going to force a game five. Here's the first pitch. Luke Voigt stands in as he looks at a cold strike. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. No ball, Not seated on that no. swing, but the splitters by him 0-2. Got him. So the magic number for a perfect game is now down to two. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there, and it just seems like we've seen so many off-balance swings and weakly hit balls in this one. Now battle. Number 20. Stepping in now, number 20. This will take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Oh, tough to catch up when it's moving like that. Bases are empty, one man out. Hey, we got one here. Fastball called strike, one and two. What a well executed fastball right there, down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way, and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking them up. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just You're can't handle. Three. Patrick Rush will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher Number here. Patrick Rush. Here's the first pitch. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. The 0 1. Big swing, but a little dribbler here to the right side of the mound. Throw in time, and they are World Series champions. Wow! World Series champions. The only thing that could have made this sweeter would have been doing it in front of the home crowd. But hey, they're not complaining, believe me. Now they can look forward to celebrating during the parade as they bring the World Series trophy home. What a moment for this team, this organization, and that city. Back now on the show. More reactions now to this series clinching victory. down on the field we'll get a chance to watch the presentation of the commissioner's trophy to the new world champs. For my partners Mark DeRosa, Dan Flezak and our entire fall classic crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching the world